As far as the uh, symbol of the horse in my work, it seems to me that the horse represents a certain uh, energy, a wild energy that uh, we can uh, also use by uh, taming it and by respecting it. So I feel that the horse is uh, a connection that we have uh, to our own nature, to our own energy, and that uh, it seems like a very good symbol and has been used as a symbol for in art for many uh, uh, generations, but it's no longer used in real life the same way as it has for thousands of years in war and in uh, farming and agriculture and in sport. But it seems to me that we are still affected by our relationship that we've had with this creature. In uh, this piece, uh, Les Ch Running Horses, by doing them this way, I wanted to uh, accomplish something that uh, gives uh, us a sense of that very impressive uh, phenomenon, which is a, a herd of running horses in nature. When you see that, you can't help but be just taken aback by the power of that. and. I didn't want to do it in a very representational way, like in 3D, and so because the horses do would then appear like uh, frozen, and it's the motion of the running horses that really is impressive in um, in when you observe that phenomenon. So I tried to abstract it a little bit so that the lines and everything uh, gives you uh, more of a sense of the running horses. When I decided to do the piece uh, in uh, laser cut, it's one way of actually doing a drawing and then cutting it out with the laser. The laser is a very powerful tool that allows you to uh, cut uh, iron with a great deal of facility. It's a lot more controlled and it uh, is very faithful to the drawing. So each one is like a drawing, uh, not on a sheet of paper, but um, in space like that. And I think you can keep the animation of the drawing alive in that process. In this piece, there's uh, different drawings on the inside of the, uh, of the, draw, uh, of the uh, contour of the horses inside the body, which allows uh, the piece to be outside to be more practical because the wind can blow through it and equalize the pressure on either side of the piece which uh, eases the uh, pressure that the horse will uh, experience in the wind. But on a more uh, philosophical or uh, artistic level, I wanted to create an interior that would show sort of the energy of the horse. And one of them is called capillary. And it's like a bunch of small veins uh, which the, bo the blood course, uh, courses through. And it makes for a nice, design as well, but it's to represent that kind of energy that is inside the horse. And, it, and the other two, which have the same contour, Mer Mer and Juma Bus, the um, pieces are made up of more like little explosions here and there that uh, represent sort of the bursts of power that the horse uh, gives when it runs. And uh, that's the same thing with the, uh, the uh, two colts. And the uh, stallion has this heart at the very center of it, and then a series of uh, designs that seem to emanate from that, which are like explosions of energy from there. To name the horses, there are some that have the same names, but the, the name is always towards the uh, fact that the, the shape of that particular one is exactly like the other one. It might be different in color, but that is the shape. So I gave it the same name instead of giving those 11 horses 11 names, some of names repeat because they're exactly the same except in color as the other one. And that's a very practical way to keep the books, actually. And um, there's this uh, one, uh, the, the, the colts also have two different names because of the different pattern that is at the interior of the body of the horse. And the stallion has a different name as well because it stems from the fact that there is a heart at the middle 
at the center of this horse and then it emanates from there. So each one has a, a name, but only in function of uh, what, uh, what I did, and then I name it afterwards, looking at what I actually have there, and then the name comes from there. In the piece, for instance, of uh, capillary, well, it represents the, the, piece, the, the capillaries of uh, the living body, so the pattern is like the capillaries in the living body, uh, blood capillaries. In the, the other piece, there's one called Juma Bas, because in uh, Juma is the word for mare, and there's always one mare in a herd of horses that is the supreme boss. She bosses everything. She decides what the stallion does what, uh, and what the herd does. And it's, it's a very hierarchical thing, a uh, group of horses. There's a pecking order from the top to the very bottom. and uh, that's what that refers to. And then mère, mère, in uh, French, the word for mother is mère. And in English, the word for uh, a, a female horse is uh, mère. In fact, uh, mère, mère, uh, I played a, did a play on words with that. When you place a work like that in a situation in a city, for instance, I think that it, there is an added uh, significance to the piece because of where it is located. It cannot be quite neutral. Suddenly, it is placed in a situation where uh, all the landscape, or most of the landscape, is man-made, like the buildings and whatnot. Uh, it's no longer just placed in a natural landscape where nature has determined what the landscape is. So. Because it is of nature and it is uh, represents uh, uh, a force of nature, and to place it suddenly in a landscape, a city like that, it makes uh, a certain statement. It uh, it is because uh, it represent it to the to the viewer. It represents a link with nature. It represents a link with the the countryside and suddenly placing it within the city like that seems to me it adds some significance to the piece. When I place, uh, uh, see a work like that uh, placed in a situation uh, like a city, I'd ho I would hope that the, uh, uh, the fact that people can be reminded of that uh, very uh, awesome thing which creation is, which uh, when we think of nature and we uh, try to remember or try to visualize what it is and we remember that this is a planet which is our only home and how marvelous it is and how wonderful that the, uh, uh, the earth is and uh, with the sea and the sky and the forests and all the animals, the birds, uh, that this is such a very wonderful gift that we should try uh, to avoid spoiling it. And if we uh, remember to put the environment ahead of profit, that uh, we have a good chance of saving uh, this wonderful home for our descendants as well as uh, ourselves. And